today because you know and you are at a high level in dentistry, in your field, in prestigious, but you have to manage all the information which is coming to you every day. And this is the issue. You don't have the right tools to do that. And all of us, we are fighting with others, with the value of the um, stock, with the um, dental orders, with the orders we do to distributors, how long they take to do it, how much it is, where the money is going to, and we need to control that. So some people, they are setting up some uh, um, Excel files, and they say, I can work with the Excel files. But we've been finding that it was not true at all. And we have also medical legal requirements asking us to work with sterile instruments. Are your instruments sterile? Probably. Are you sure? No. How can you check? You cannot check. What do you do with the proof? The proof that your pooches, you're using instruments in pooches, what do you do with the proof? What is the proof? Where does the proof go when you've been using instruments? I can tell you, it goes to the bin. Okay? It goes to the bin, and you cannot track it. How can you prove that the sterilizer is working when you are making a sterilization? You cannot do it. Okay? For all these reasons, we are fully out of the medical legal constraints. Okay? And we are talking to the Minister of Health right now, and they understand that there is a problem on that. And they will come back to you soon, because this is very important. So, let's go step by step on what are the everyday problems and how we could fix that. So, this morning I'm going to introduce you to some kinds of new tools. Some of you, you are already using that, okay? And we're going to talk together on what are you doing with the program and up to what extent you're using the program because most of people, they don't use it for 100%. They use it maybe for 15% or 10%. But um, it's much, much powerful than that. So the first thing is, what are the problems? The first problem, and I have been developing, okay, I am a dentist, as you know, I am working in, um, in uh, development of uh, medical, pro, uh, me medical software, and the company, Anpa Medical Supplies DMCC, is developing, it is the manufacturer of this product. So if you want to say, okay, we want to change this or that, you come back to us, and if it's uh, good to do it, we will do it. We are developing based on the reaction of our customers. What we can say also is that the, um, the company is certified ISO 13485. Means what? We have audits, we have controls, we have people coming from the outside and they are looking on what we do. This means that when we set up a program, you will have no bugs. You will have a follow-up at the back. It's not just you have a friend who is writing a, a program for you and it's not working, what do you do? So you have all this backup which is very important to know when you decide to set up a program. And I can tell you, we never stop um, the evolution of a program. It never stops because the, um, the server is changing, um, the tools we are using on the server are changing, um, the language is changing, all these things needs to be adapted step by step every day, every day we have changes to do. So a software is not stable and we need to be on the back of the programmers all, all the time. So we need to control them. 20 years ago, I have been writing a program myself on, um, on Access, which is a, a program working on Windows, to set up my orders and to control my orders. I did that long time ago because I needed it. So now we decided to update that and to do it online because you don't want anymore to install the program, to install the updates, to make the backups. You don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I want that to be simple. I click and I can work online. Wherever I am, I am at the dental clinic, I have a tablet, I have a telephone, I have a, a fixed um, a computer, whatever I have, I can work. Not only myself, but all the people, I will give the access to work on that. So orders, how do you order? Maybe you just use telephone call, you call the distributor, and you say what? You say, I need some abutments on my implants. 
Okay. But what kind of abutment? Oh, uh, give me what you have. Okay. And you receive an abutment. Maybe it's the good one. Maybe it's not the good one. Okay. And when I ask people, I ask the, the assistant, when you order, do you know the, uh, do you know the number of the order, the, the, um, uh, the code of the order? They don't know. They don't know. The distributor knows the code, but the assistant don't know the code. If I ask you, can you give me what's the code of, um, of an analog, you don't know. Okay? So how do you want to make an order if you don't know what's the reference of the code of the order? So you need to have all that. Are you going to remember that? No. You need, you need a program to do it for you in an easy way. Okay, so when you order something, you know exactly where you order. And knowing what you order, if you receive something which is different, then you will go back to the distributor and say, no, I did not order that. And I have the tracking of that. I know exactly what I've been ordering, and I don't want something else. Okay? In this way, you will get the control on your orders. So what... Uh, in, in all medical practices... You need to have the traceability of the supplies. You need to know when it's been coming into your stock. You need to know what's the, uh, the tracking number, which is the lot number. You need to know the expired date, if there is an expired date. And how are you going to do that? How do you do it now? Maybe you don't do it. And medical legally speaking, you have to do it. So you can write, every, every time you receive something, you're going to write the lot number, you're going to write the expired date, you're going to spend your time doing that. Today, you don't need to do that anymore. The solution, and I'm going to explain to you the solution, is just to scan. Scan what? What we call a QR code. I'm going to explain to you what's a QR code. Okay? You just scan. And then this is a unique reference to an item, and you will be... Uh, you will easily find it in your stock because you will scan again and it will come up to you. So no need to know where it is. We know because we've been visiting several uh, dental clinics. In some dental clinics, they have um, closets like this and they have items. They don't know what is inside. And for myself, I have been buying things that I never used because I don't know what, uh, that I have that. Okay? And I pay for that. I buy it. And then it's expired. I throw it away. Or it's not expired, but I don't know how I have it. Or you need to know where is an item. I have been buying something, but where is it? So you click on the item, you find where it is, because you have the location where this item is stored in your clinic. So you're going to tell me, so I have a small clinic, I, will, I have one dental chair, and I don't work. But imagine you are dealing with four, five, or six um, different dental chairs. Me, in France, I had 12 dental chairs, okay? So I can tell you that you have to manage all these things. Okay. More and more, not now, but in the future, you will see that more and more dental clinics and um, hospitals are going to be involved in quality system. Quality system is ISO 2009 system or ISO, there are different kinds of system. And in this system, you need to check the quality of the distributors. This means that you need to rate your distributors. So maybe some, someday you make an order, and one month after, you have no answer. Do you remember that you've been sending the order? Who's been sending the order? And what, what, you, what is the feedback on that? You don't know. They just say, we don't have it on stock. Wait, we will send it next week. Next week's pass, one month's pass, and they don't answer. You need to rate that. These are the bad distributors, and don't work with them. Change, find another one, okay? So for that, you will get the tool to do it. Make on-time evaluation of the inventory. Inventory, we find out that in many cases, what you have in stock is more than a one-month turnover. This is important. It's not nothing. And you have that in your closets, in your cabinets, and all that. And uh, it's an investment, and you don't need it. Maybe you need it. Maybe you don't need it. So do you know, I ask this question now, do you know how much you have in stock in your clinic? Now, not next year, 
not when the, uh, the, the accountant will close the account. It will close the account three, four months after the beginning of the year, of next year. What do you want to do with that? What do you want to do with the value of the stock that you have, been, which is going to be calculated next year? We don't care. We need to have it now. How can we get it? I will show you. One click and you get it. You are working like this. Okay? So this is a big benefit because now you know and you know what's the trend over two years. You know if the value of the turnover is coming of the um, of the stock is increasing or decreasing, and you can control it. Okay? And that's important because it's a lot of money. We need to track the aspire items. Expire items, we receive items, we don't use them, so we need to know. So what, what are you going to do? You're going to open all the, all, all the closet and check the dates and all that? How can you do that? So we need something, we need an interface to pop up, to show you when it's expired. It's very simple. In the program you will see that you have an item, when it's expired, the, the color of the background is changing. It's getting red. That's it. You know that. So, when it's red, you have to put it outside or you have to uh, remove it from the stock. And also what you can do to track the expired date of the items, you will receive an automatic email one month before all this list of items is going to expire. Okay? You receive that. And you know that I have this, this, this is going to expire within one month. Okay? Knowing that, I can reorder or use them fast. Okay? These are the tools. Compared to the tools you have and you are using today, how are you doing that? How are you doing that? Do you know when your orders are going to expire within one month? You don't know. That's the issue. So, what we want to give you, we want to give you the tools to work. I mean, it's not in the future. It's the everyday practice. You need to know where are the items. You can also compare the price of the same item sold by different distributors. So you enter the same item, and one has this price, and one has this price. And you can compare, okay? What you can do also, when a distributor is coming to visit you, you, you know, some people, they come, and they visit you, and they ask you, um, uh, we want to sell you this, and this, and this. The first thing I do now, I click on distributor items. And I have all the list I'm dealing with this uh, guy. And I know exactly, I don't spend time. I know I'm using this, 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 this. Okay. So what I can do also, and this is important if you want to discuss about the price with them. You have to click and ask last year with this distributor how much money I gave to this distributor. And automatically you will get the analytic production, analytic use of what you've been buying to this distributor. And then it's easy to discuss about getting price. It's not just uh, make it uh, lower. Huh? Okay, you can discuss like this, but you need to get arguments. So you say, we've been making a turnover of uh, uh, 300,000 uh, uh, dirhams last year. I want you to make uh, a special uh, price for me because I have the proof of that. Okay? If you don't have it, how can you discuss? Okay, I am a good friend, so give me a price. No. That's the souk. We are not in a souk. We are in grow up in, 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 in dental clinics and things. And you have to have the right tools, okay? Not the souk. And also, there is something very important, which is about medical legal constraints on supply storage. And that you don't know yet. And I'm going to talk to you about the tracking of sterilization, how to uh, use pouches, how to store them, and what's the expired date because uh, there is a big gap today in this country at least and uh, we're going to try to understand how it's working okay but in the future and i can tell you we are in touch with the minister of health and they know that there is an issue and they are going to uh, tell you that um, it will not work in the future like this so again what kind of problems we have we can evaluate the items consumption you have dental clinic you have several dentists working okay at the end of the month or at the end of the trimester, you need to know how much money is being spent by him or by him or by him. Okay, very easy. You make a selection by dentist, okay, and you will know what production, what consumption is being using. 
and you know exactly how, how much it costs, okay? And based on that, you can make a comparison with the turnover, and based on that, you can know if it's good or not, okay? And you can make corrections, okay? So once again, we give you tools. I don't say that you are going to use all these tools. Maybe you are going to, to use some of them, but not all of them. And maybe you're going to increase that, and you are going to work in a better and better way step by step, okay? It takes time. It takes time. Don't jump in 100%. It will not work. So that's, that's something that you export payment details to the accountancy. Okay, so I was thinking about that. I am the accountant, okay? You give me invoices maybe three months after these invoices have been paid, and the accountant doesn't know what has been bought. He doesn't know what it is in the list. He has no idea about that. So the best way to do when you receive something, you're going to pay it, okay? At that time, you make the payment of your order. And the payment will show the VAT, the amount, all that thing automatically, okay? And if you are paying something else, which is fully different, like you pay the rent, you can also add it as a financial expense or as um, an income, and this will be exported to the accountant also. In a format that, they can import it directly into a program, a counter program like Sage, for example, automatically. Okay, so we are linking things together. So today, we are linking the dental lab to the, uh, the, the dental practices, but also what we're going to do in the future, we are going to, to link the medical um, clinics to the CBCTs, to the blood analysis, to all what you need and all what you have around that. Because the future is the network. The future is not centered on one activity. The future is to link people together. This is how it's going to work. And we are starting with that, and I'm going to show you how we start with this. We need to strike the sterilization pooches expired date. So the first question is, is there an expired date on the pooches? Today I have no answer. I see here I have no answer. <laughs> so, so we need to talk, to, to talk about that. We need to ask this question, and we need to decide how we're going to manage that. Okay? Once again, you need the tools for that. We need to track the lot numbers. When I am placing an implant, okay, I, I, I have some stickers. I can put the stickers. I can write the lot number of the implant I've been placing, or I can just scan it and make a basket. And in this basket, I will put all what has been used for this patient. Let's say I have some um, uh, beta TCP bone, I have some implant, I have some anesthesia, I have the compuls, I have the gooses, I have the gloves, and all that is automatically placed, and the value of that is calculated automatically. And also you will be able to add all the sterilization pooches that you've been doing for that. And all this is coming into a basket, and you can link this basket to your patients. Okay? So now we have a full tracking on sterilization, on expired dates, on items, on value of all these things, and all this is linked together, and it will come as, um, uh, with including the tracking number, the expired pushes, and all that, in the patient's file. So, there is something also, I was amazed about that, because when I started my practice long, long time ago, what did we do at that time? We used to fill the orders like this on a piece of paper and send with the impression to the lab. And 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years ago, we still do the same. We are taking digital impression. We have digital models. We are working in digital, and we still write on this piece of paper. What do we do with this piece of paper? Now, we, you don't, by the time we had one, now you have three. One for you, one for dentist, one for the lab. One for, come on. You are going to multiply the number of sheets? No. No. That's not the direction. That's not the direction. We should not go into this direction. We should change our way to understand things. And I'm going to tell you more. Let's say uh, you've been doing a special shade for a patient. You've been making design and all that. Where are you going? I mean, I talk about the lab. Where are you going to store that? The guy is coming two years after. Where is that? Are you going to find it? Maybe yes, maybe no, probably no. Okay? So now, 
What I propose is to link that on a cloud. And on this cloud, you just put the name of the patient, and with the name of the patient, all the orders linked to these patients will pop up. Not only you can, um, you can find what is linked to the patient with everything, but also you will not lose anything because you have backups, okay? And as long as you will not lose anything, you will be able to track all this. Uh, I, will, I will introduce the, uh, the lab orders later this morning, and we will do that this afternoon so you will understand how it's working. So, what we need to manage also, all of us, dental, I'm talking about the dental. Some of you, you are physician, and some are in dental, but in the dental, you have more things than uh, for physician. So, if I talk about the dental, everything will be covered also for the physician. So, uh, how to manage the monthly payment to the lab? Every, every month, the dental lab is sending to you uh, the, uh, the list of, of uh, what they have to pay, the statement of account, right? Or the dental lab do that. So what do the assistant? The assistant sees the amount, the amount is that, and she pays that, okay? She prepares the check. But you need to link that to your patient's files. So we've been setting up a way to make in one time the monthly payment. So you have the list of the uh, orders which have not been paid, okay? You just tick them. When you tick number one, number two, number three, the amount is calculated automatically. And when the full amount is calculated and is the same on the piece of paper you receive from the dental lab and on your computer, when you have the same amount, you click and you make a payment with a group checks. Making that, all the files will be updated and closed. This means that it's been received, it's been done, it's been paid. If you don't agree, this is the time to open the file and send a message directly to the dental lab. They will receive it, no, no need to call, no need to write, no need. automatically they will get the information. So we have, a, we have a form and this will come inside and they will know exactly if there is an issue, how it's working. And you get the traceability of that. This is the most important. We are talking about traceability. Every single thing will, must be traceable, okay? Not only the not lot number, the expired date, and all that, but all the con connection you have with the lab, the distributors, and all that. So manage an on-time uh, monthly payment to the lab. You need also to communicate with your distributors and responsible personnel. So when you are in a clinic, in a dental lab, in a, in a medical clinic, whatever, you have people working with you. We call that the responsible personals. And all of them, more or less, will get access to the data. Do you need to get access to the accountancy for a dental assistant? Maybe not. So we don't tick on this. And they will get access to a particular part of the, the program. So each one will get a dedicated access. And when me, the owner of the account, I will open my, uh, my program, I will see with the pictures who is online. So I know exactly and I can track who is, who is online. I have the picture of my assistant, Srinidhi, who is at the back, and I know that she's working on the program because I see a picture. After one, year, one hour, automatically, it will close down the program for security reason, okay? So we control that, we control it online, wherever I am in the world, I'm connected to the internet, I know if she's working on the program, if the, the, the accountant is working on the program, if the lab technician is working on the program. Because I have responsible personal settings showing that to me, okay? And I, um, I can communicate, I can communicate, uh, it's not finished. I can communicate because I can send emails to all my responsible personnel saying, uh, for aid, we're going to close from this day to this day. No need to talk to everyone. You send an email, all of them, they will receive it, and that's it. In big dental clinics, the dental uh, practices where you are, okay, you need to say to everyone that we're going to close from this day to this day. Everyone knows, okay? Or this one is going to be on vacation from this day to this day. They need to know each other, you know? If you don't do this, how do you communicate? You're going to talk to everyone? 
You're going to spend your morning, all, all morning for that? No. You send a message to all of them. Automatically, it's done, and it's traceable. Okay, so based on this, we've been setting up three programs. The first program is e-medical manager. This is for hospitals, this is for big clinics or small clinics, only for medical, okay? In this, you will have the tracking of the orders, you will have the tracking of sterilization, you will have the export to accountancy, you will have financial reports, you will have a production report, all that is included in that, okay? Then we have another one. We